are turning now to the opioid crisis and the fallout from President Trump's decision to declare a health emergency. His announcement came as the billionaire CEO of a drug company was arrested Thursday, accused of selling fraud, uh, using fraud rather to sell a narcotic that is 80 times more powerful than morphine. ABC's Kendis Gibson explains what the health emergency means for you. President Trump declaring a public health emergency, calling opioids the worst drug crisis in American history. It is time to liberate our communities from this scourge of drug addiction. We can be the generation that ends the opioid epidemic. We can do it. The president's public health declaration means patients in rural areas can reach doctors and obtain prescriptions to treat addiction by phone or the Internet. And it lifts bureaucratic red tape, allowing more funding for treatment centers in all 50 states. But the president stopped short of declaring a national emergency, instead calling it a public health emergency, which means his action does not come with any additional federal money to address the crisis that kills nearly 100 people every day. What I would say to the president on that is, show me the money. The president's statement are words without the money. Trump offering a personal story about his older brother who died of complications from alcoholism in 1981. He had a problem. He had a problem with alcohol. And he would tell me, don't drink, don't drink. The announcement comes as authorities arrest a drug company's billionaire CEO. He and other executives at Insys Therapeutics are accused of bribing doctors to overprescribe their drug, Subsys, a powerful opiate. His attorney already signaling a not guilty plea. Why? Because there's no evidence against him. He didn't do anything wrong. Candace Gibson, ABC News, New York.